Hello, welcome back to Rim World. Uh, things are... You know, they're okay. Uh, let's just not talk about last episode, let's just, you know... He's on a caravan, he bought some uh, some steel and stuff, so that's good. Uh, it was a good episode, last episode. Um, this episode... I've queued up some constructions, you know. Uh, this is the ship, I think. I think this is work, I don't know. I've put it in a big building. It's gonna have steel walls in the interior, and limestone walls in the exterior. Seems pretty safe to me, I don't know. I took the roof off it, because it said needs a roof not over it. Uh, lots of walls and things queued up. I have decided to put those other people who can do construction, or who like construction, on construction duty, because I figure they're mostly going to be building stuff that doesn't really have a quality level at the moment. Just a lot of walls and floors everywhere. So maybe that's a good opportunity to get their skill up anyway. And I think this might be a quiet episode? We did just get raided by mechs, so... I don't know. Are they being broken down currently? Uh, I hope so. Put the corpses in the stockpile at least. Are there any quests we needed to do? There's nothing available. Uh, oh right, there's the installation stuff. Yeah, there's a thing right next to us. We can probably do that today. 2,176 potatoes as well. Do that if we need some potatoes. Wait, so what is this? This one's an ancient complex and this one is... Oh, this is the one where you go and like, yeah. You touch the relic and the the tribes people get angry. Maybe we'll do some relic questing then. Definitely a lot of wall construction. I suppose I might as well start digging out all this plasteel as well, since we might need a lot of this soon. Oh, and new research targets. Um, I might just not set up a target for a second. There's nothing really important we need, is there? Could make better drugs to sell. Um, I think it's fine. We'll let them prioritize scanning. See if we can find more steel on the map. Young has gotten food poisoning from fine vegetarian meal and confident cook. Okay. I think a lot of these meals got made when people were sick, maybe. Uh, Q's caravan has met peacefully with another caravan. Could possibly trade. We have 49 silver. Um, looks like these guys are selling weapons, though. Could buy a couple of meals. Alright. Two fine meals for uh, Q. On the last leg of her journey. Why not? Wall's actually coming along pretty quickly. All things considered. This might get a bit awkward now. Um, Q's home. <laughs> that looks so funny. I mean, Q is a master animal handler. Uh, as you can see. Yeah, I might need to, um... I guess I might need to put some doors in here as well. I'll probably make this bit of wall extra thick, too. But, um... I kind of wish that unloading the animals was a, was a handling task. That it got done faster. Uh, Young is having a tantrum because he's malnourished. How did that happen? Ate fine meal. Oh, do you have food poisoning? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess he vomited a lot. Um, speaking of being malnourished... <laughs> see, what are Q's duties? I mean, even if I put her on priority one hauling, they still won't prioritize the animals, right? I guess I'll just force Q it up. Uh, maybe once... 
Oh, wait. The Kamdo's taking care of stuff. How are your needs? Maybe I'll force Bakamdo to just unload them all once they're back in. Actually, can I just make you drop things just by clicking you? Oh my god, I can. That's so much easier. What? <laughs> Wait, can I mask select? No, that's a shame. Well, that simplifies things, I suppose. Here, yeah, just drop five. <laughs> cool. Um, Alright, well, that's the easy way to unload a caravan, I suppose. I suppose this stuff will start to degrade now, unless I get it actually hauled quickly. I think that's most of them. Yeah, let's just mass haul everything now. <laughs> just, whatever. Get it done. Oh wow, this got my mind immediately as well. Um... Another 600 plus steel. It's pretty good. Uh, wild woman wanders in. Old bishop. Psychopath night owl. I think we are kind of over colonists though. I think we have enough. We've got 22. It seems fine for me. Due to high mood, Porpoise has a work frenzy, so <laughs> you can put that to use in the crematorium. Wait, why is he... I guess he'd rather destroy those corpses than the ones that are right next to the crematorium, which, you know... Okay. <laughs> I suppose while he has the work frenzy is the best time to do this. A quest available, Gala's Sunblocker. Gala is travelling near Rhino Town. She's being followed by her enemies. Wants your help using signals to draw them towards Rhino Town. If you do, her enemies will activate a site nearby to harass you. There's a sun blocker machine. The whole region is guarded by two man hunting elephants. Okay. Ooh. Damn, that's a lot of gold. Wow, these are really valuable rewards, huh? This is a lot of research stuff, which I should probably get, because I haven't had any of the tech prints yet. Um, but damn, I know there's Zeus Hammer. We could give that to Briam or um, the other guy who's tough, I can't remember. Hmm. Expires in 1.6 days, so I have to decide now. How much plus steel do we have? 738, and we've got 473 gold. How much plus steel are we going to need? And again, we're also going to need... Oh, we also need gold as well. 280 for the reactor, 140 for that. And then it's mostly advanced components that'll be a problem. And advanced components also need gold and plus steel, right? Uh, advanced component, plasteel and gold. More plasteel than gold. Maybe we have enough gold? That's a lot of gold, but maybe I'd be better off getting more plasteel. It's a better weapon as well. I don't know. Maybe this is the wrong reward, but I'll do it anyway. So who was the tough colonist? Was it Homber or Red? Um, is it Young? Oh, it's Young. Young tried to convert Q to his ideology and led to a social fight. Well, this is a good test to see. Are you much of a combat? Well, it looks like... I don't know. I think they seem to get on. Um, site appeared sunblocker. Right, right. So we have to do with that. There's the... okay. So Bram is also a brawler. And would probably also do well in melee. But wouldn't be as, like, tanky as the guys who are tough. But at the moment, Bram's kind of useless because I don't have a good weapon for her, so... 
Might be better to give the weapon to Bram first. And then uh, get her some armor and stuff made. Let's do that. What's, what's Q's weapon? Is Q's masterwork as well? Oh, there's only a good one. I don't think you can swap them though, right? Because they, they bind to you or something? Once bonded to a wielder, the weapons... Right, okay. This weapon has the following traits. Psychic Sensitizer... Wait, isn't Brian already psychically sensitive? Yeah, she's psychically hypersensitive. Hmm, <laughs> it's gonna be really bad. I'm just imagining that there's gonna be like a, um... Oh no, there's gonna be like a, a psychic drone that makes everyone unhappy and she's gonna get hit for like minus 100 mood or something. And then she's gonna be a brawler walking around with a masterwork hammer. It seems bad, right? It seems really bad. Let's do it anyway. <laughs> It's good for content, you know. Right, so Brienne is now a brawler with a masterwork Persona Zeus Hammer, so I assume that's going to be very deadly. Let's make it a priority to get her some armor. I think there's a shield belt she can have. Norm. We have a better one than that. Uh, I'm going to use... Oh, wait. Norm 100% versus Norm damaged. See if there's any more on the map. There's a good one somewhere. Okay. I'll have Priam wear that as well. And then we'll queue up some armor. So, recon armor, recon helmet. Okay. So, we can have Q and Priam in the front now. Should do some damage. Let's see where the sun blocker is. Oh, it's right next to us. It's only guarded by two elephants. Alright, I'll send the guys out in the morning to take care of that. You know, now that these mortars have been destroyed multiple times, maybe it's somebody put a wall around them. You know, that could be <laughs> could be a good idea. Maybe something that... Uh, do we even have any mortar things left? Can't remember what they're called. Barrels, I guess? Barrels. Reinforced barrel. We have three, it looks like. So we can currently build three mortars back. Um, yeah, let's think. We leave a two path. Put walls like that. Ish. Would that work? As long as there's no roof? Uh, let's find out. I could even move the shells in here. Well, I would like to have more mortars than three. Um, how much space does this leave us for more mortars? We have five in this little room. Let's go for nine. Eight, nine. And then, yeah, I could move all this onto shelves in here. Which would probably work out better in the long run. Oh, this is going to be awkward because they're going to have to um, walk all the way around to get to this one. So, eight. Eight mortars. Seems pretty good. I was waiting for it to be tomorrow morning to send everyone out. I realized it is tomorrow morning. It's just that there's a sun blocker. Right, so it looks... <laughs> it looks like... <laughs> I'm so stupid. Um, sun blocker. Yeah, let's make a caravan and go take care of that. So is this literally just going to be defended by two elephants? Because if so, I just need like a couple of heavy gunners, right? You'll have Mindler and uh, Tamsa, right? Who has the... Yeah. I think they should make short work of an elephant. Uh, let's take a couple of other long-range weapons as well. We'll try and take these things down before they get to us. All the uh, carbines, maybe. Uh, we're not traveling very far, so... I suppose it's possible that there could be some loot here, so... I'll bring two horses to carry stuff as well, maybe that'll be fine. 
Uh, I don't suspect we need many supplies since it's such a short journey. Um, we shouldn't need to rest, I don't think. Bring the survival meals. I'll be fine. Uh, never mind, mechanoid cluster. So that looked like more than one. Maybe not. Alright, this is pretty bad then, because I, I... Well, first of all, we need to cancel this caravan, right? How do I cancel a caravan that I've just... <laughs> that isn't actually, um... Caravan? Did that cancel all of them? Okay, looks like it. Right, so this is a mech cluster. We don't have any mortars yet. Um, I should probably prioritize this last bit of wall, and then I think we're fine for um, safety. I'm missing limestone blocks. Oh wait, this looks like... Oh no, these are the mechs dropping here. Right, right, right. I could quickly deconstruct these walls and grab this, um... Alright, it's dormant. There is an auto-mortar in 2.4 days. Okay. So let's edit the emergency zone. Just remove this whole corner of the map. That's fine. Two bricks. All right, that might not be. Quite what I'm looking for. But maybe, maybe we can get enough bricks to just finish this bit of wall. Uh, still scanned. Ooh, the long-range scanner. Okay. It's kind of far. Uh, scanned underground steel, much better. Oh wow, here? Oh, that's perfect. Fantastic. Uh, deep drill. Oh, uh, that gets... That gets most of it. You started a social fight with Wall, what was this one over? Look badly about Q's food preferences. Let's see if Wall survives this. <laughs> oh, I guess social fights don't involve the weapons, that's good at least. It's just the fist. Well. Not really surprising that that happened. Okay, this wall's been finished too. Countdown activated 23 hours. Make a drop beacon. Well, we have solid walls now for the exterior. Don't have any mortars, but... Oh, the Toxpo's carrying one. Maybe it's fine. Let's turn all this into the home area. Home area is looking very big. Uh, and I'll stick everyone in the home area. Get the animals in as well. We've got another carrier drive too. Um, and I guess I'll try and mortar this to wake it up and then see if it just attacks us. Because if it all just attacks us through here, I think we'll be fine. Maybe. It is three centipedes and maybe more on the mech drop beacon, I don't know. Alright, we've got two mortars. I think that's all we have, right? I think 
I said we had two barrels. Maybe we had three. Just check. Have you been hauled a barrel? It has. Okay. So we'll get um three mortars up and running, and then just keep hammering this until it dies, and then maybe we'll just get attacked by the robots while that's happening. It should be okay. Right, let's get Natoxpo his uh, leg, or I forget as well. I've had that sitting around for a while now. Right, but Camdor still has food poisoning. Natoxpo is going to be a bit woozy from uh, anesthetic, but other than that, I think we're good to go. We can take on the robots. Wait, really? Surgery failed? But it was Venium in. <laughs> he has a medical school of 15. How did he fail to install a leg? Man, poor Natoxpo is just cursed. Alright, well. <laughs> How's your health, Venium in? I mean, he's great. Well, that seems unfortunate. Um... Well, time for another leg. Better look next time, Natoxpo. Uh, anyway, let's um just do these shelves. Give me another one as well. Uh, let's get people on mortars. Right, I've got Venumin, Tail, and Combo. I'm gonna do some mortaring. Just wait till Combo gets over here. Who's a major break risk? But Camdor. Yeah, still ill, unfortunately. He's walking it off. Okay. Um Horse target. Try and get the auto mortar. Doesn't look like there's a shield. Unless there's a shield about to activate. Or maybe this. Oh, there is a shield. Damn, I couldn't see it because the stupid centipede was covering it. Alright, well that's not good. Oh, it looks like there's another shield as well. Yeah, the centipedes are covering them. This is a low shield, so that's gunfire, and this is mortar shells. Hmm. Not great. Okay, I'm not sure how to do this because there's a high shield protecting everything from mortars, but then there's a low shield protecting everything from gunfire as well. So, how do I... I think the only way I can attack this is if I get under the shield, right? So, the new plan, and this... This might be stupid, but the new plan is to just put everyone behind the cover here in the trees. This bit of wall. This bit of wall. And then just start shooting. Um Is that a good plan? I don't know, but I don't I don't know how else you do this, because there's there's they're protected from everything at a distance. So I don't really have much choice. There's a countdown activator activating in eleven hours, which doesn't sound good either. So, these seem to be the only proximities. So I think as long as I stay out of the red zone, I'm, they won't wake up. So I can position everybody in cover and then wake them up. Well, let's see what happens. All right, first things first, I think I need to get everyone to like here and then bring them down. So let's start with that. We do have a lot of shooters, so... Then again, they they kind of do too, so I don't know. I also have Minla's um, ability to call down some reinforcements as well if we need that. Right, but Camdor is kind of useless at the moment. 
guess you're also spared um, deployment. Wally's not doing very well either. I have to get him beaten up by Q. Okay. Okay, I've put people in position. What about Coco? Coco, don't walk in the... <laughs> Alright, people are behind trees. This is the best cover we've got around here. Um, I think I send Q and... Okay, I guess Coco doesn't set off the alarm. Good stuff. What's the range on this minigun, by the way? It's fine. I think I have to put Q and Briam on the center beads, right? Inferno Cannon's really annoying. Oh, there's two of them. Alright, I'll have Q and Briam punch this, and then these two will get zapped, maybe. Do I have the zapper nearby? Psychic Shock. They're in Sanity somewhere. Psychic Shock. I think we had an Insanity Lance, right? Am I dreaming? But for sure we had... Is it going to be someone in the hospital or... Wall? Uh... The Toxbow? Of course it's in the Toxbow. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I guess we just shock them then. So we'll open with that. So... Hamster shock this one. Hey, who was the other one? <laughs> Forgot already. Mamacho shock... This one? You can't do it from there? You can do that one though. Your hamster, can you do this one? Yeah. We shock those. You guys go and melee this one. And then everyone else just shoots something. Probably the shield generator to start with, right? Uh, and the scyther? That's gonna run at us. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna go. No, it's gonna go well. This is fine. This is fine. You're using shock lance on centipede. You're using shock lance on centipede. We might get more centipede drops. I need to be aware of that. But, okay. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> this feels so stupid. Alright, just don't. No one die though. We've had like no deaths for a while. Okay, I'm going to pause immediately, just to make sure everything's going smoothly. These have both been shocked. You have been punched and stunned. Okay. There's another Scyther here. Uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be shooting the shield, who cares? We're under the shield anyway. Let's get the Scythers before they run on us. That one's closest, so I guess I'll prioritize that one. So Stout and Venima need to move up, because, yeah. It's a bit risky, but... Okay. Okay, this is going to be bad. Do we get the... Alright, Bram, <laughs> Bram might die. Bram has terrible armor. Um, okay. Technically not in cover, though. Alright, the Scyther's got to be dead now, right? So if you guys take out this thing, and this thing, and then this thing, seems fine for now. See if anyone else gets shot. How are you still up? That's crazy. Okay. This is pretty bad now. <laughs> Probably should have brought the EMP launch in now that I think about it. Let's just shock the guys who are flanking us. 
everyone else shoot the sofa. Candles in a daze, doesn't seem good. Okay. Um. I think this scythe is down? Yes. Are you nearly dead? 17 hours, that's okay, I think she can keep fighting. Um, let's take out this because it's shooting right at Stout, who is... Oh, I think I told her to get in cover and then reissued an order before she was actually in cover. Okay, this doesn't seem too bad now. I'm pausing a lot though, I'm like... This feels a bit like, uh... Cheating. Um, Stout, can you take out the... Can't hit that. The guy who's like, point blank with our melee dudes might be a problem as well, I don't know. That's gonna explode. How's Q's health? Q's pretty much fine. Ram is exactly the same. Okay. Uh, Lek has been downed. That's not great. Let's see if I can tend. Okay, I think. Minla's um, minigun's doing some work. I'll oh, probably hamsters as well. Do you have range on this one? That would be great. No. Um. Oh, these. Right, this has been taken care of too. Okay. So let's have. Ram can go hit this thing. You can go hit this thing. Might need to. Start shooting the shocked centipedes too. They're probably going to be getting up soon. This is not going exactly how I wanted it to. Um, <laughs> I've only going ten stout quickly. Uh, let's have you guys just move up. we've succeeded, <laughs> or certain definitions of succeed. Wall has finally arrived too. Welcome. Okay, Leka, did you get tended already? Yes. Stout also. Ram desperately needs being tended. Let's do that too. Mr. Minla. Um Young is doing Coco. Red can tend Q, a macho. Doesn't do any doctoring. Uh, right, who's really injured? Head in 12, no immediate danger, no immediate danger, no immediate danger, okay. So Ollie go and tend as a car. 
And I think the rest of you can be undrafted. Uh, oh, I do still need to actually destroy the rest of this stuff as well. Some rescuing needs to be done now. I think we're outside the Oh. Not sure about those ones. Okay, that was... <laughs> that was pretty big. Um, I don't think it hit Vinyman. No. Uh, okay. Let's just undraft everybody. And see if... Amps is pretty fast. You can rescue Stout. And Coco, how are you doing now? No immediate danger. Tail can rescue Coco. Okay then. I mean, that went fine. <laughs> Probably could have gone better. I think everyone's out of danger, medically speaking. So we should be able to get them back to the hospital. Q is now a major break risk, which is never good. Did we get anything here? We got more power cells, which is cool. Wait, there's more robots. Oh, right, I shook these two as well. I forgot. Whoops. Um, well, I guess I need another <laughs> little excursion to go and take care of those. Uh, let's find that. Maybe they'll walk in the entrance and get shot by the turrets. Uh, other than that, what do we get? 60 steel. 34 plus steel. Whatever we recover from the robot's bodies. Uh, two more power cells. Three more power cells. Where's the third? Oh, there. Alright, it's not too bad. Gonna have to recover weapons as well, but... Uh, yeah, they're now under armed guard, unfortunately. Which is my fault. Uh, but I'll get people back to the hospital, and then I guess that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, I thought this was gonna be a chill episode, but I guess the next one will be the chill episode. So next episode I'll take care of uh, some of the quests we have on the map now. And, you know, this is getting built. Got a little... A little set up here to help us get the ship built quickly. We've also got more steel now right inside the base, so we've got steel here and here and then there's steel over here too. So yeah, things feeling pretty good. I need another fabrication bench in here and I'll probably start making more armor too once we've got a surplus of metal and stuff. Alright, I'll end it there then. Uh, and then I'll just very quickly check off camera that everyone's healthy and doing okay in the hospital. Uh, other than that though, I'll hopefully see you next time.